We're going to have a look at hospitality and catering level 1 and 2 as a possible option. And this course is made up of two units. The first unit, unit 1, is looking at the hospitality and catering industry. You'll be asked to do theory work based on this to help support with completing the written exam. And this is worth 40% of the final grade. Unit 2, you're given a scenario based task. By the exam board this will be completed in controlled conditions in school and throughout this you'll be expected to complete practical tasks to help develop your cooking skills and at the end of the coursework you are going to be completing a practical exam where your allotted time is around three to four hours where you need to prepare cook and serve two dishes with accompaniments. And unit 2 is worth 60% six, of the final grade. Throughout the course you'll develop practical skills and use the skills you've learned from year 7, 8 and 9 to help develop further and learn new cookery skills. You'll need to understand hospitality and catering industry as a whole, not just the food service but also looking at front of house you're going to look at skills needed to become a chef or front of house member of staff and develop an understanding of different job roles in the industry. What qualifications you're going to need to achieve those job roles and where you can get further education to enable you to get to that goal. You'll investigate nutritional requirements and a balanced diet along with investigating special dietary requirements which will help support Unit 2 and some elements of Unit 1. These are some examples of students' work and how they present work in a professional manner and demonstrate a range of skills which will enable them to get the highest mark possible. To pass the course at a level 1 or 2, you must complete all the assessment criteria in Unit 1 and in Unit 2, as well as the written practical exam. The assessment criteria are modules of work set by the exam board. Here I've placed a couple of videos on this slide and the next one that you can have a look at to see where this course could lead to in future if it's something you're interested in in pursuing. So we've got military, looking at hotel management, cruise liners, environmental health and we've got lots of other possible options that this course could lead to. So we've got nutritionists working in hospital development of menus, you could work within travel and tourism, journalism, um, food science, nutritionist, cleaner, military, there's all different types of career opportunities that could lead um, from doing this course as an option. Thank you for listening.